Hey everyone, welcome back. So in this video, we're going to put the contents in our cards. So the contents have already been provided in the resources section and in the contents, you can find that under the easy enrollment, we have the content for each card. So let's go to Visual Studio Code. And before I can start putting the contents, one more thing I'm going to define in my enrollment card and that's going to be text align and that's going to be center. So all the text within the card should be in the center of the card. Okay, now let's start defining like, you know, level. we will do one card and then after all the uh, styling has been done, then we're going to do the uh, other cards. So first we have uh, an icon. So that's going to be an image and let me call that card icon. And the first one is for the location. So img slash location icon dot png. And we're gonna say something like location. That's it. and after that i will be having a paragraph element and that's going to be card heading uh, let's say we're gonna say select location and then i'm gonna have uh, card text yeah and we're gonna have uh, various locations so we can have paragraph elements as well multiple paragraph elements also and we can have uh, um, a list also but i'm gonna have the paragraph elements yeah so i'm gonna say the boy and then let me copy the next one is abu dhabi and let's say sharja these are all the Emirates of UAE, Ajman. Feel free to put whatever you want to. If you are, you know, building a website, real website. Alain. And the next one I'm going to do. Rasul Khema. Yeah. So let's have a look at this card. It's going to be really distorted and here it is. So that's the image, then our heading and then the, the text. So now we're going to style it. <coughs> so the first one is I have uh, the image and that's the class for that is card icon dot card icon. And as we usually do that for the IMG, we say IMG. So I'm going to say that card icon IMG. It's just a naming convention. Feel free, whatever you are comfortable with. You know, there is no hard and set rule that, you know, that's how you're going to name your classes. It's purely up to you. So card icon IMG. And let me say that height is going to be 5 rem. Okay, H E I G H T, yeah, five rem, and let's have a look. Yeah, it's a little bit small. Maybe I can go with eight rem, and eight rem is good. Now I need to have some margin on the top and bottom. So margin top that's going to be 2 ram or in fact i would say margin 2 ram and 0 so 2 ram on the top and bottom and 0 on the left and right so here it is yeah this is looking good now the next element is my card heading so that's going to be text transform uppercase font size and let's try with 2.5 ram and Hmm. Font weight 400 and let's have a look. So yeah, this is fine. In fact, I can reduce a little bit 2.2 RAM. Yeah, this is okay. <clears throat> and here I can just have the margin bottom 
and that's going to be one RAM or maybe even the same two RAM just for the consistency so yeah this is fine now the next thing is that is our card text first thing font size let's start with 1.5 RAM or maybe we can go with the default 1.6 RAM yeah this is fine I can have uh, line height defined and let's say with 3 RAM too much or oh, sorry 3 RAM and maybe we can reduce a little bit 2 RAM 2.5 I think will do so 2.5 is okay yeah now I need to have the card text and last of type yeah and I can have a margin bottom and that's going to be 2 RAM so now we have this 2 RAM going on on the bottom as well but I wanted to do that only for the last element <coughs> okay so this is my first card now what i can do i can have my this enrollment div copied and i can take out the other three paste it four times so here are my four cards now i just need to change the text of it the content of it so that the second one is for the package i guess So this one is package icon. Let's have a look. Package icon location uh, alt is going to be package and the heading is going to be select package. And then in 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 the text now let's have a look in our write-up that the text is uh, first we have reasonable and attractive pricing you know let me put that so that's going to be coming in the first paragraph so reasonable and attractive pricing then I have starter then I have economy the next one is going to be booster and then I have premium and let me take this out okay so this is my second one now i'm gonna have the text for the next one and the next one is going to be select schedule and i have two paragraphs over there so then this is going to be schedule icon i guess yeah we have it alt is going to be in fact sorry i am changing the package again so be careful about it that which one you want to change so this is the one so that's going to be schedule icon alt is going to be schedule here i'm gonna say select schedule then i have two paragraphs and the first one is online courses available now that's gonna come here and then i have the second paragraph this is gonna come here i will put it in place of abu dhabi and all the next paragraphs i'm gonna delete it from here let's have a look so yeah this is our select schedule and the last one as per our write-up is for register course so that's gonna come here 
I believe this is register icon for the alt I'm gonna say register course this is going to say register course and for the text I have you have two options to register with us that I'm gonna say over here <coughs> And then I'm gonna say by phone and online that will come here by phone and then this is going to be online and then I have a text here that's gonna come here and that's it so let's have a look so here you are now you can have like you know further a little bit of uh, space uh, particularly over here you can give between the list and this one and this like you know very easy i hope you can do it by yourself i'll leave it to you so as far as the content is concerned that's it for this video and uh, the hover effect where we have the scaling going on for all the packages and only for the for the card uh, for all the cards and only for the card where we have the hover the scale is going up that effect we would see how we can do that but in the next video so thank you so much